Okay, what about that one? With the horizontal pattern of growth, it could be a tumorous follicular infundibulum, but I mean, I was considering like a reticulated seb type pattern or something more reticulated. Great. So, uh, tumor of the follicular infundibulum, TFI, as I like to call it, or um, or maybe a seb. And I think that TFIs look a lot like seborrheic keratosis. They have this similar kind of uh, small uh, keratinocyte cells that are pink. Usually this one's a little faded, so it looks more blue. But I, I think the key is to me that the epidermis is basically normal here, right? And it, the proliferation, instead of growing up on top or, it, or filling the epidermis and extending down like a seb would usually do, this actually is skipping and branching either from reedy or from openings of hair follicle to the next opening of a hair follicle. And again, the opening of a hair follicle, these are the infundibula. So this is growing from infundibulum to infundibulum to infundibulum as a kind of a, a horizontal plaque. And I feel like that's the most helpful thing uh, to making a diagnosis of tumor of the follicular infundibulum. And let me show you, I've got another one that I pulled out the other day that Dr. Melrose, our fellow, um, was asking about. That's melanoma up there. But that, this is a little bit more pink. Isn't that nice? See how it makes like this horizontal plaque under the epidermis, right? It's skipping along from hair follicle to hair follicle to hair follicle to the next. And it's not always like perfect because, you know, it's kind of, it's a three-dimensional structure. We're just cutting a, a one slice through it. But I, I feel like most often when I see them, they're incidental findings in the background of like a melanoma biopsy or excision. I rarely get them as the only finding, but I think this is one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Um, really, really cute little uh, entity. I like tumor follicular and In my opinion, these are benign. I, I believe I've read some stuff that some people think they're a variant of basal, but then the pictures that they showed in their paper, I was like, that's a basal. I wouldn't call that TFI. So, you know, the take home story is that, you know, naming stuff, particularly for adnexal tumors is filled with controversy and debate. And a lot of times the names that are used in the literature are not pure. It, meaning that some people have used them one way and then others have used them a different way. And then that's where you'll look up, you know, pilometrical carcinoma. And some studies will say it's got a really high rate of mortality and others say it's really low, probably because not all those studies are describing the same thing. So, okay, what about this one? How do we differentiate between like pilosebaceous induction, like follicular induction? Oh, in the last case, so how to, how to differentiate from follicular induction? Well, follicular induction usually is going to have, um, I don't have a case of that handy. This one does look a touch more basaloid than usual, but, but if you take that pink one that I showed you, I would say that the, this is, this is pink. Whereas when you get induction change in the epidermis, like over a dermatofibroma, you usually have, they usually look very blue and basaloid. They're, they're the root of the hair follicle. That's, that's the most prominent part that we see when we see the induction phenomenon. And, um, and oftentimes too, the stroma underneath will start to get cellular and coalesce and make like a little papillary mesenchymal body kind of imitating the hair papilla. So I feel like that's kind of the most helpful thing. I, I wish I had a case uh, pulled to show you, but also it wouldn't matter either way, right? Cause it's totally benign. So I know for, for learning purposes, it's good to distinguish, but in real life practice, the TFI, I mean, often I, if it's an incidental finding, I don't usually even mention it. I just point it out excitedly to the fellow and then we move to the next case, but that's a good question.